Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to make a Python program which is going to get the vowels. It is going to check if a string has vowels in it and if it has strings, it is going to return how many uh, how many vowels did it have. So without wasting a time, let's get it started. Before starting guys, I would like to suggest you to subscribe to this channel so that you can view more content like this. Now, let's start the coding process. Now, what am I gonna do? I view my code and I visualize it and I think that I should make a function to solve this problem. I'm gonna use def keyword. To do so, def is vowel, vowel, and now I'm gonna pass it a parameter which is word. Next, I'm gonna make a variable which is with uh, word. Now, what am I gonna do here is word dot lower. What this means is that I am getting the previous, meaning the va value, meaning the string that was given by the user and converting it to the lower form and then saving it to the variable word. Now, let's continue further. What am I going to do? I am going to make a list now. Vowel is equal to now I'm gonna make a list which has a e i o and u in it. Note that these all are vowels. Now what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna declare a new variable which is gonna be um, Number of our uh, number of vowels. Number of vowels is gonna be zero. This means that num I am assigning zero value to this variable. Now I'm gonna declare a for loop for for cap in word. Sorry, but I'm gonna check if my cat the string entered is uh, meaning the cat we got from the word is in the vowels. Okay, this is in vowels. This vowel is. Vowel is the list we defined later before. Now, I'm gonna. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna say uh, number of number of vowels plus equals to zero. Okay, great. Now we are almost done with the program. Now we have to only return these values. Let's do so. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna define a if condition. If my uh, number of number of vowels is greater than zero, then return return true. Oh. Return true. And I also want to return how much, uh, how many number of vowels were they in the string. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna get a comma for that. Now let's uh, put in the variable number of vowels. Okay, almost done. We now we have to write uh, uh, about two lines of code. We are almost done. Now we are gonna say if uh, return return false 
I'm gonna explain the program in the end. This first we call a function is wobble. Wobble. Now pass it some string like Havith. This is my name. Now let's understand what is what have I done in this code. I have defined a function which is is wobble and it is taking word as its parameter. Next, I have made a variable which is word. Uh, and what am I gonna do is that I'm getting the user word, the string the uh, user has entered, I, and I'm gonna convert it into the lower form and save it in the word. I'm just gonna. I'm. What am I gonna? What is happening here is that I am over, overriding the value of the word which was given by the uh, user. Now I have a vowel which is a list. Uh, it contains a e i o u. These all are the vowels. Now I have next declared a number of vowels. This is a variable which contains zero in it. Next I have declared a for loop for cap in word. What this means is that uh, I'm uh, defining a for loop which is going through the word, uh, the string entered by the user, and I'm getting the first character. Okay, if the uh, if char in the vowel. What this means is that if the char we got from the word was in the in the vowels list, meaning this is the list, and if my char is in the vowels list, then I, I am saying number of vowels plus equals to sorry one. I'm gonna plus one. Then I'm uh, in the almost end. I'm saying if number of vowels is greater than zero, meaning if the the uh, variable we defined is greater than zero, then I'm gonna return true. And after that, I'm saying uh, also return the number of vowels. If this condition doesn't take place, then re return false. Now let's run this code and execute it. Run the code. Now see what is the result. We see we see that it says that true and it gives me two, true and two. What this means is that in the hurrit, the string we gave to our program contains a and i which are vowels so it retain it returned two for that and why it returned true is that it wants to tell the user uh, the string you entered actually has vowels thank you for being till the end video in the next video till then bye bye